restaurant's been open less than three months downtown, and here to give us a taste of the Latin House on Main Street is the owner, Ray Alfonso. Welcome. Good to see you, Ray. Good to see you. Good morning. So you're from New York City, I understand. Yes. Yeah. How'd, Born you, end in New up, York. how'd you end up here in Cincinnati? I was in Pittsburgh working, and I met my wife and mm -hmm. fall in love, so... So you followed her here? I had That's to. pretty I had much no how choice. it is. <laughs> so you're Cuban and Italian. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. My father was Italian. My mom was Cuban. So I have it all in me. The yeah. loudness, the rudeness, the, the hands flying around. Oh, that sounds like a fun place to be. So it's a family-owned business, and yes. you're going to make us a little bit of breakfast and a little bit of lunch yeah, today, Yeah, what right? I did today is like I made my own batter. Mm -hmm. Everything's freshly made. Oh, yeah. Everything's from scratch at my restaurant. So I made a pancake batter, which okay. is... Simple to make at home, two and a half cups of flour. And if you're gluten free, you can make it from rice flour. Oh, good. So therefore it's gluten All free. right. Third cup of sugar, uh, teaspoon of vanilla, a little bit of milk, mm -hmm. butter, salt, and just Good mix deal. it up. So do you want to put the put the yes. batter on the griddle and get the pancakes going? You have a pretty big breakfast menu there. I was looking online. Yes, and yeah. actually they're really big. The Cuban breakfast burrito, mm. you can, we can go from Cuba to Florida in it and still eat it when you get there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's I, pretty I big. saw a sandwich on your Facebook page that looked like it was this high. The Cuban sandwich. Yes, because it has almost a half a pound of ham. Oh, my gosh. It's got slow roasted uh, pork shoulder that I make. Yeah. And then I slice it. Oh. So it's pretty big. And then with the, with the Swiss cheese and the Cuban bread that I make. Oh, that sounds so good. Now, you're also going to make an empanada while the pancakes are yes, going, right? Yes, I'll have the pancakes on. Okay. I decided to make a vegan or a oh, vegetarian, you know, to, like, appease everybody. Sure. And then I have some of the mixture already pre-made. Okay. But it's simple. Just take your... A little bit of your celery. celery, your onions, whatever you want to put in there, potatoes. Now, I understand you did not originally go to school for cooking or for no, I actually, restaurant business. No, I actually went for electrical engineer. What? My <laughs> disciplinary was nuclear energy. Uh-huh. And then when I found out I had to sit behind a desk and do math all day. That was the end of that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. So you just took some culinary classes and ended up yes, deciding to do a restaurant, huh? Yes, in, in Florida and actually in New York as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Cuban restaurants are big in Florida. Yes, they are, in every corner. So you got those veggies diced up. Right, here you got a little bit of cilantro okay. and then tomato, red onions, green peppers, red peppers. Celery, okay. So what you do is you... We can buy it either empanada dough or you can make it yourself. Oh, okay. So you cheap. probably make yours, right? I make my own, but I, I bought this one just to like Okay, to make show that go. people can right. do it themselves. Okay, nice. So then you just take your filling, put it right inside. Mm. You can make it as thick as you want. Yeah. And then, and then you just seal it up like a little like a little envelope almost, huh? Like a, a little, little a little love pocket. A little oh, a little love pocket. I like that. Now it looks like the pancakes need to be flipped. Yeah, they're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I see them starting to bubble over there. There we go. Oh, yum. Look how pretty those pancakes are. Now, I also saw on your Facebook page yes. a whole lot of dancing. Do you have dancing at the restaurant? Yes, we Music? do. Once a month, we have a Cuban dance party. Oh, how fun. Which, it's free. Yeah. You come in, you dance, just buy some food. Okay. That's what helps us pay for the okay. DJ. Can you take a dance lesson? Or I, I mean, I don't know how to do Cuban Not dancing, me. but no, Not is there somebody me. there like showing how to do it? Or I can feed you, but I cannot teach you how to dance. <laughs> well, I saw all kinds of people doing some beautiful dancing on your Facebook. Yes. So you're just going to deep fry the empanada? Yes, you put it in for about five to seven minutes. Okay. And then about five, seven minutes later, you get this beautiful Ooh, golden brown that looks and so delicious good. empanada. Look at that. Yum. Which you can put it with a sauce. Yeah. Which I, I what make What kind a, of sauce do you? Well, I make a green sauce, mm. and I also make a Dijon mustard. Oh, and okay. Good aioli. deal. We're going to try them all. We're yes. going to try them all. So it's the Latin House on Main Street in downtown Cincinnati. Congratulations on opening. Thank you. Is, now, is your wife helping out at the restaurant, too? Yeah, she is. Well, she does the, the back end for me. Okay. Um, and you're doing Payroll and stuff like that. And my system also does like the marketing, oh, wow. the website. Okay, so we, it's a whole family operation. Yeah, because we also specialize in catering. Okay. We also have date night. Okay. Which if you want to go on a date, but you don't want to cook, well, that that's what like I'm here good. for. So you tell me what you want to eat, I make it for you and I serve it for you. Fantastic. At home, your yard, whatever. Yeah, that's good. Ray, thank you. It was well, my so pleasure. fun to meet you. you. Can't wait to try this stuff. We'll be right back.